Vito Arujo, having a very good season, comes into the national tournament seated third. He wrestled both the Dayton Fix in the semis, who is seated number two and is a three-time finalist, and Roman Bravo Young in the finals, who is seated number one and is a two-time national champion. And honestly, he made it look easy as he waltzed his way to an 11-3 major decision and a 10-4 decision, respectively. Vito has beaten both of them in the past, in freestyle, I believe, but not in recent folk style history, which is not Vito's true bread and butter. Vito is sometimes hot and cold, but to call him a sleeper would be a little disingenuous. He is damn good, but these are upsets nonetheless. 144 in the first, score still 0-0, Fix makes a crucial mistake in posting both arms. Typically, you don't want to do this because of how open it leaves you to pop-ups and quick shots, but a lot of wrestlers will do it to keep some distance and get their hands on their opponent so they can feel them out a bit better. It's a habit thing, and a tough habit to break, one that should never be created in the first place because you end up doing it at the worst times, or you get in the habit of poking kids in the eyes, which leads to penalty points at the worst times. You should close the gap first. This proves to be a mistake as Vito pops both elbows up and goes for a double. He's a little out to the side, doesn't have a good angle on the double, and wasn't able to close the gap enough, so Fix is able to sprawl and circle away and grab a high crotch of his own. Fix would be looking to come up with the leg and go to a cradle, or maybe just lift it to a Turk. A Turk is when you lock up the bottom leg with your leg, throw hip pressure, cross face, and pull your opponent to his back. This inevitably leads to a crackdown as Vito sits and reaches for his own high crotch due to them both having a bad angle on the shot. Riding a little bit of a merry-go-round, they keep each other out of danger, but also out of a clean scoring opportunity. Vito abandons the high crotch and goes to a sprawl, which is a good idea and is possibly the strongest defensive tactic. Vito should be trying to circle away from the shot to extend Fix, left hip down, lift the near ankle to break him down, lift the far elbow, but Fix is able to get his hips under and lift. Fix should be looking to catch the far leg in Turk or possibly transition to a double, but he does neither. Vito stabilizes himself in this out the back door position as he looks to go crotch lock or body lock, either of which could give him better control of the situation. Ideally, Vito would lock his hands around his waist, trap Fix's left arm, making him fall to the right, pulling his top arm back. This is what Penn State lovingly calls a win Dixie, popularized by Jason Nolf and is super strong. It's easier to do this if the offensive guy's head is between the legs, so I can see why Vito isn't looking to do this if it's something that he's thinking about. Fix pulls the leg down and sits Vito back to his butt as Vito grabs a crotch lock on the far side. Fix lifts him up again, Vito stabilizes again. It looks like Fix is looking to lock up Vito's right elbow here. There's an interesting freestyle throw that involves the high crotch he currently has, locking that arm and throwing your opponent backwards. But I'm not sure what help it would do here in folk style other than creating some chaos. He could do a forward roll, land on his feet, let go of the arm, and cut double. Vito wisely keeps his arm free and settles back down to a crotch lock slash crackdown. This time, when Fix sets him down to the mat, Vito has a much better angle and is able to scoot around, lock the leg up, get his hips up, and cross face, which is the most basic way of scoring from this crackdown position. Interestingly enough, they don't award two points in this position, though it should have been called as soon as he got the cross face. 30 seconds goes by without any change of position, and then the two is finally given. <laughs> Refs these days. Vito chooses down in the second. 30 seconds goes by. Fix is trying to throw legs in to break Vito down. In this position here, Fix should be trying to grab both wrists, throwing in good hip pressure and trying to pull at least one arm forward. Vito stays in a quad pod in circles, trying to get one of the legs out. Fix reaches over Vito's right arm and looks for a head and arm, when really he should be reaching underneath the right shoulder, looking for a two-on-one, two hands on Vito's left wrist. That would give him the ability to pull that inside arm up and in and break Vito down or maybe force a roll. He doesn't do that though. He reaches for a head and arm on the left, which doesn't do much of anything here. Vito continues circling, sits to his left hip and starts standing up. He was either able to kick the right leg back, mule kick we call it, to get Fix's right leg out, or Fix let his own leg out to get behind him more easily. If Fix had his feet locked up, Vito wouldn't have been able to get the one leg out so easily. Either way, it opens the door for Vito to start standing up. Fix fails to stay behind him, which is super important for a leg rider, so Vito is able to turn to the left, do a switch of sorts, and sprawl away. Fix probably should have taken his remaining leg out and bring it back down the normal way, but he holds tight. Knowing when to bail with legs is super important. At this point, Fix really should have bailed, gave up the one, but he's not able to do that quick enough, and Vito grabs an arm drag and circles around him for the reversal. That arm drag in this position is tough to beat, another simple yet very effective move. From neutral, I would say stand up to your feet and the ref may not call two yet gives you a chance. But Vito is on bottom. A reversal is given even if you're on your feet. You just have to get behind. Fix tries to do a quick forward roll to try to funk. Notice how his right leg goes over top, kicking Vito's arm through. Vito happens to land on his right hip, which stops Fix from attacking his ankle, forcing Fix to a high crotch. Because Fix's left leg was stuck between Vito's legs, Vito also winds up with a Turk, securing Fix on his hip. Vito goes for a low leg cradle, which ultimately fails because Fix is able 
able to kick his leg down as he comes up with the leg. As long as Vito has that bottom leg secured, there's not much Fix can do other than letting go of the leg and rolling away from him. It's not a good idea for Fix to hold onto that leg. You'll end up giving up a cradle because your head is tucked or you'll continue to leave yourself open to that Turk. Having said that, Fix is able to get back to his base, but they end up going out of bounds. I'm assuming Fix did not believe that it was a reversal yet, but I beg to differ. The challenge breaker's thrown, overruled. Vito is back up on top, up for nothing. With a minute left to go, Fix is able to stand up and get an escape. The first point Fix is able to score in the match this far. It's a basic stand up, grabs the cross wrist, posts it down, and then cuts. It's a lot easier to escape if you have wrist control, but it doesn't look like Vito is trying very hard to hold him down. I assume Vito can lift him with one arm and a good tight waist, but just isn't interested in the energy investment and possible chaos that would ensue. Vito isn't in the mood to try and ride out his opponents this weekend. You'll see that in the next match as well. Start of the third, Fix chooses down. When losing by three points, choosing down is a little iffy, but he's escaped easily enough throughout the match, so there's no reason to think he can't escape again and close the point gap. Maybe get a takedown and tie the score. Vito goes for a far knee, far ankle, usually meant to put your opponent on their hip and look for a low leg cradle or Turk. Fix starts pushing pushing that leg back and interestingly does a forward roll. Kids at home, don't try this. You'll end up putting yourself on your back, giving up back points if you're not strong enough to slip yourself out of this position. Fix getting away with this just proves how strong he is. This looks like desperation to me. If he's looking for funk, he'd pull his legs forward and try to make Vito roll with him and then Fix would come up with the leg, but Vito wisely lets go of the leg and sprawls back, neutralizing that idea. That's exactly what you should do in that position. You don't want to roll with your opponent there. Fix gets an inside grip of Vito's left leg, something you would use for a Peterson or a peek out, or just come up with it, I guess, but Vito isn't interested in that nonsense. He sprawls away and gives up the one, making the match 4-2. Riding time is at 40 seconds for Vito, still not a factor. A minute 15 left in the match, Fix posts with his right and then goes for a lefty collar tie. Vito pulls the elbow a little bit with his right hand and then disappears underneath for a head inside single on the right. He doesn't have a good angle, but he pulls himself in a little and locks his hands. He circles a bit to the right as Fix goes down to a shin wizard. This is when you reach behind the near shoulder and grab your own shin. There's a lot you can do with that series, like a Jonesy, Funk, Magic Stick, cut back, but Fix's ankle is on the outside hip, which does a good job of stopping most of that. Vito reaches his long leg around Fix's hip and throws his far leg in. This is a very sneaky way of dealing with the shin whizzer, popularized by Logan Stieber, I believe, but you'll see a lot of people do it these days. Fix would need to keep his right knee forward to stop that from happening, but he doesn't even see it coming. Score is now 6-2. Vito gives up another easy escape, not looking to hold him down, and why would he? Neutral is working out great for him up to this point. 6-3, 49 seconds of riding time for Vito, still not a factor. So I did say reaching, posting on the head burns you at the worst times, right? Cause it does. Fix reaches for the head yet again. Vito does another pop up, this time to a deep double. It's amazing how simple this move is, but how easily it can work even in college and against the best wrestlers. Normally you should stay on the legs with a shot like this. Coming up from the legs to a body lock will give your opponent the opportunity to headlock or maybe get two overhooks and look for a counter throw like a Polish or an inside trip toss. But Vito does Vito things. He's very good at freestyle, very comfortable in this position, and there's not much Fix can do from here. Vito lifts Fix, kicks his left leg out with his right, and puts him on his back. Austin Gomez actually did something similar to Yanni earlier in the season, which helped him win that match. Vito holds him there with the body lock for a two count, extending his lead to 10-3, with riding time about to hit that one minute mark, which will give Vito another point after the match is over. The match ends with a score of 11-3, a major decision. Vito just majored three-time NCAA finalist Dayton Fix. Made it look easy. This is a headline in its own right, but was he done? No, no, no. It was time to turn up the heat on another grade A opponent, this time two-time national champion Roman Bravo Young.